Hello everyone, I am AJ, and I am here with another episode of Sid Meier's Pirates. Last episode, I spent YEARS in jail. Literally, YEARS. I also forgot to save my game. So, at least that, you know, that's a good time to, you know, forget to save. It's not like, oh, I got married, killed Marquis Montalba, and found all four cities, and then I forgot to save. Which I have done previously. Well, maybe not quite that bad, but similarly bad. Now, my crew is a bunch of grumpy butts, so I have to go find something to murder. I don't think I can kill the English. I think it has to be the Spanish. Although, really, who knows? <laughs> I'm also going to kill some French. Yes. So I'm going to kill this French ship here. Come here, buddy. I just want to say hi. Where I come from, stabbing someone with a sword is a way of saying hello. I do not like this ship. I am really not liking this ship. Oh, for the love of... Come on, crash and dim. A French frigate, huh? Yay! Now we can uh, use the rapier and uh, murder them all. I see, I see. I understand something I didn't previously. Yay! I never used the taunt button. Holy crud! That's a lot of loot. Well, geez. I guess today's my lucky day. Yay! I got promoted! Ten of these. Ooh, one of these. There we go. Now I know where the treasure is. 100%. I have not met the governor's daughter. And I need to sell this ship. And repair these two. Great, now I can go get more gold. Here's another victim for me to murder. A French raider. Yes. You're all going to die. Zigzag. Alright, alright. Yep, I got you. And rapier. Whoops. Yep, that's not good. Now that I'm on rogue difficulty, I have to make every attack count, even against weaklings like this guy. There we go. And I know I say this every time, but that guy's dead. I know he died in a cartoony way, but he's definitely dead. He bled to death in the ocean after getting third degree burns. Ooh, ooh, I want to kill this one. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to attack it. 28 crew. Okay, maybe this was a terrible idea. Maybe. Maybe. No, no, I got this. 
I got this. This guy is using the slow sword. Oh, crud. That is not good. I got this. Yeah, the slow attack sword is just really dumb. There, I barely won. Now, I really need to head back. Yes, a navigator. All right, I've got a navigator. Now I can move much faster. Although I'm still moving incredibly slow. Because uh, I've got about three more ships than I should. Indeed. Well, back to Trinidad. Well, crud. Something is wrong with Trinidad. But what? Well, I hope I can still land there. But man, am I moving slow. Well, it seems I could still land here. Ooh, one-shot pistol? I'll take it. Shipwright. Sell that one. Ooh. I need to sell my, uh, cargo. S-cargo. <laughs> Get it? Because it makes no sense. And, uh... There, I'm back at 10,000 gold. Really? I got promoted? Because, like, I'm your enemy. I'm favoring the Dutch here. Well, dang, I need more men. Badly. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more men if I'm going to retake Trinidad for the glory of the Dutch Empire. Yes. Now, are there any pirate cities around here? Yes, there's one over here. And I suppose the rest will go have to look for. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try and retake Trinidad. All right, I did some thinking about my situation, and I'm going to have to go get some gold. So I'm sailing up to Santo Domingo, and on the way I'll raid some ships and sink those ships, not take them, because there will not be a lot of places to sell them between here and where I'm going. What's this? Transporting troops? Interesting. Very interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna go get some gold because my men need to be happy enough for me to hang on to them for, I don't know, five minutes while I go and retake Trinidad. Mutiny again. I am not standing for mutiny. No, indeed. That ship belongs to me. Well, it looks like they're charging right at me, so I don't have to worry about, uh, any of this, and they've got a smaller crew than me, and of course I'm superior to them in every other way as well, so. Look at him, he's fat! And he's got an ugly mustache and beard. That's how I know I'm going to beat him in a fight. Seriously, look, they're just gonna surrender if I keep this up just a few more seconds. Which I didn't have to. That's how much better I am than this guy. There, it looks like I got all my gold back. And I had to make sure not to fire on them. Because then I might have lost some of my gold and damaged my precious ship. Damn mutineers. Here's a Spanish treasure ship. I'm heading in this direction to get gold, so I may as well attack a treasure ship. Although, their crew is freaking ginormous, so maybe this was a horrible, 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 horrible idea. I guess we'll find out, now won't we? Oh look, now I have even less crew. Horrible, 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 horrible idea. Okay, we're sideways, so that means, uh... I have a decent chance. 
That was bad. Yes! That was really freaking close. Yay, a cook! He can prepare tasty meals at sea. It's probably good for morale, right? Yes, and volunteers. And gold! That was incredibly good, but it could have been incredibly bad. Well, I'm gonna have to take all this gold. All these, uh, stuff. Freaking end of story. Because, uh, that is a lot of loot, and I wanna sell all this stuff. Indeed. Look at this. This new warship is a sloop. That's weird, right? Does that not normally happen? Or have I just not noticed it? Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, thank goodness. They let me into Santa Domingo. Tavern. More men. 33 men. Excellent. I'm interested in the merchant. Dutch heretics! Heretics! Well... If I were to say on a scale from good to bad, I would say it's, uh, bad good. But at least there's another place over here I can go look at. At least I got more crew, which improved my speed somewhat, right? Right. Yeah, Petite Go. I'm gonna head to Petite Go, sell all my crud. That is, in, in fact, if they don't hate me as well. Ah, who knows? Who cares? I sure care. I care a lot. Because I am incredibly nervous. You know, I could just go to the English in Port Royale. Worst case scenario. The English will take me in. I haven't killed a lot of them yet. Just a few here and there. Nobody hates if you kill a few people here and there. It's if you kill a lot of people that people care. Oop, pause that. Yes, they take me in. Okay. I got all their money, though. Crud. Tavern. Yay, more men. Not interested. Uh-huh, he's there. Oh, cool. I can catch this guy. This is the mission you get from the plane governor's daughter. You hunt guys in the back of bars. Usually, they're incredulously weak. That's right, I said incredulous. I know what it means. And he's dead. Concussion. Metal Curious! I'm taking it. And the governor? What, no promotion? Cheapskate. So basically what I'm doing today is preparing for war. And so I'm gonna name the episode, Preparing for War, because I'm preparing to retake Trinidad. I don't know why I want that city specifically, but I want that city specifically. So I'm trying to get money and some equipment wouldn't hurt. No, indeed, it would not. Eleven men. Uh, gee, I, I think I need the money more right now. He's over there? Well, okay, I don't care. Hello, governor. Plane? Fine. Really, I need as much stuff as I can get right now, so... This wouldn't hurt. Oh, I messed up. That's not good. I'm just not used to the song. Do, 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 do.
Yeah, I've got this. Why did I mess up there? I'm really pretty sure I hit the correct button there. I'm positive I pressed the right button. I messed up, didn't I? No, I did not. Well, it must have been pretty freaking close. Mr. Y. Chatterley, who is wanted by the Crown for indecency. Well now, in Florida Keys? Well, I'm never gonna be up there. Okay. Five crewmen deserted, and I forgot to do the thing I came here to do. Should probably do the thing I came here to do. Merchant, sell the spice. Mm, I didn't sell it for a great price. Nor did I sell it for a lemon price. It wasn't lemon. I mean, it could have been worse. Shipwright. Triple hammocks. Hmm. There. Whatever. I did it. And now I'm done with it. Now I need to go find treasure. In this location. Here I am, Santa Domingo. So you're Santa Domingo. And there's that thing. So I guess here's a good place to stop. Right. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Here. Let's get us some gold. Because I'm a gold digger, because I dig for gold. Super literal. Should be straight north of here, right? Totem. Well, that tells me nothing. Oh, there it is. I figured it wasn't far off. Seriously, what is with all the skulls there, though? I mean, I understand the pirates are murderers, but not all of them are freaking psychos. Yet every single treasure you look for... ...has tons of skulls around it. Okay. Alright, I'm making a stop at this Dutch city here. Cause that's where I've got the highest rank. Nine men, that's it. Ooh, a lightning quick sword. Yeah, I'll take it. Good to know. The governor of Rio de la Hacha's daughter, they say she's a real beauty. Okay, I think that's a Spanish city. Yes, now I'm an admiral. Rather plain. And yeah, me as well. This song I'm better at. Yay, I'm dancing. It's a lot of spins I've gotten in a row there. Wow, another spin. Well, sorry, I was expecting another spin. Wish wishful thinking, really. The back backing up is what gets me, particularly. I think I just need a little bit more practice. I haven't done the dancing in a while. There we go. Oop. I 
I got this. I got this. Maybe some dancing shoes would help. A lot. And not a little bit. If you look at your position from the walls of the room, you can get a bit of insight of whether you need to go, of which way you need to go. Because if you're right at the walls directly in front of you, she's not going to back up. Wanted for embezzlement? Inset to Kendalina. Well, I think I might be there ever. So that's actually good news, right? Six men have deserted. Crud. I need more gold. Santa Catalina. There. Interesting. Well, that's going to be it for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. Today, I'm preparing for war because I really need a Dutch city with a beautiful governor's daughter. Because the beauty level of the governor's daughter does not change depending on who is living there currently. Interesting, huh? That's it for today, everyone. Bye!